Welcome first grade students and parents to our Friday's literacy lesson. Today's objective is for students to read, spell, and write their high frequency words. All these words are words that we already learned in class, so it is a review for today. The first word that we are going to review is the word down. Can you say the word with me? Down. Now spell it. D-O-W-N. Now shout it. Down, down, down. Now whisper it. Down, down, down. Now clap it. Down, down, down. Now I want you to put the word down in a sentence. For example, he went down the slide. Now I want you to put the same word in a sentence and tell the person sitting next to you. Very good, let's go ahead and go to our second word. Our second word is more. Can you say the word with me? More, now spell it. M-O-R-E. Now shout it. More, more, more. Now whisper it. More, more, more. Now clap it. More, more, more. Okay. Now I want you to put it in a sentence. For example, I want some more chocolate M&Ms. Go ahead and put it in a sentence and tell the person sitting next to you. Very good. The third word is each. Can you say the word with me? Each. Now spell it. E-A-C-H. Now shout it. Each, each, each. Now whisper it. Each, each, each. Now clap it. Each, each, each. Now put in a sentence. For example, mom gave each of us a glass of milk. Go ahead and put it in a sentence and tell the person sitting next to you. Good job. Our next word is said. Can you say the word with me? Said. Now spell it. S-A-I-D. Now shout it. Said, said, said. Now whisper it. Said, said, said. Now clap it. Said, said, said. Now put it in a sentence. For example, dad said to ride your bike to the park. Okay, go ahead and say the word said and put it in a sentence and tell the person next to you. Very good. The next word is other. Can you say the word with me? Other. Now spell it O-T-H-E-R. Now shout it. Other, other, other. Now whisper it. Other, other, other. Now clap it. Other, other, other. Now put it in a sentence. For example, he closed the door and walked around to the other side. Go ahead and put in a sentence and share it with the person next to you. For our last word for today, it is the word no. Can you say the word with me? No. Now spell it K-N-O-W. Now shout it. No, no, no. Now whisper it. No, no, no. Now clap it. No, no, no. Now put in a sentence. For example, I know all of my high frequency words. Okay. Go ahead and put the word no in a sentence and share it with the person next to you. Great job, first graders. For our assignment for today, you can also find this on our Valley West homepage by going to our homepage and clicking read more. When you see Valley West plus HIC at home on the front page, okay. go to the left side and you will see HISD at home lessons. You're going to scroll down to where you see first grade ELA. You will see our lessons for this week and you can print them out or you could write on a sheet of paper with a pencil. Okay, so this is our Friday lesson that you can see right here. Let's take a look at the assignment. If you already have this printed out from the Valley West homepage, 
then you don't need to write down these words on a sheet of paper. But if you haven't printed it out, you should write down the word down, more, each, said, other, and no, and label your paper from one through six. So what I want you to do is for the first word, I want you to say the word down, then use your hand and cover the word. Write the word for number one, then lift up your hand to check to see if it's correct. You're going to do the same thing for number two. The second word is more, say the word, cover the word, then write it for number two, then check the word. You're going to do the same for number three. Say the word each, cover the word, then write the word for number three and check the word. You would do the same for number four. Say the word said, cover the word, and write it for number four and check the word after you're done. For number five, say the word other, Cover the word with your hand, then write the word. Once you're done, check the word to see if it's correct. Then number six, say the word no, cover the word, and write the word for number six, and check to see if number six is correct. Okay, let's go to our part two of the assignment. You're going to write a sentence for each word. Remember, each word should have seven words or more and underline your high frequency word. Don't forget to include adjectives. Adjectives tells us more about the nouns. If you can um, use it to help you figure out how it sounds, how does the noun smell, how does it taste, what is the size, what is the color, how many are there, how it feels, how it behaves, how it looks, and what is the shape. For example, if I am going to use the word down, I could write for number one, my little brother climbed down the tall ladder and I underline the high frequency word. Go ahead and do it for um, all six words and write a sentence. If you want to practice more challenging words, you can practice reading your second grade high frequency words at the link below at www.houstonic.org forward slash page forward slash one five zero nine one zero. You can also practice your high frequency words outside by doing some sidewalk chalk activities. You could do a high frequency word water balloon toss. By filling up some water balloons, write the high frequency words on the sidewalk. You can throw the balloons on the words and shout out the word. You can also do a high word hopscotch outside. Thank you for joining us today and have a great weekend.